Earlier, we received a report that gunmen in Imo State have threatened to cause mayhem if residents disobey the sit-at-home order of IPOP. We're also told that schools and offices have shut down. Joining us via telephone is James, a resident of Oweri, the state's capital. Good afternoon, James, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you, Father. All right, James, so can you please bring us to speed about the current situation in Oweri as we speak right now? Okay, as we speak in Oweri, the state is of the capital of the uh, letter that was posted, that has been posted in the streets by this, by a very government that uh, people sit at home on Monday and also and they should not recite national anthem and pledge at the at all schools in uh, parties. You know, before now, there, there are instability in the state, but not in the way the capital, you know, for some time, they've not been attacked in the way the capital people. But we just saw one at the Umukuma police, the Shona Hector. That one is very close to the um, For the time now, there's been a part in the region. As we speak, there, are, there, is, there is a local government in the uh, state now that has been taken over by this uh, unknown government. They find their checkpoint, people cannot address. And they are, they are trying to build confidence among the residents. They are, they, are, they are taking over the security of that place. There are no police stations there. Talking about um, a new local government in, uh, in the state. They are gradually approaching to the local government from the Putin government, which is uh, a It's also the same, every local government which or I know the individual in general, uh, just because of where they are packed uh, last week. So the security situation in the state is, uh, is on my side. There is need to urgently uh, address the issue so that uh, people can go about their own. So you're saying that people are afraid to go about their businesses. And uh, if I got you clearly, are you saying that we're talking about unknown gunmen or we're talking about IPOP? Well, uh, the, the, the issue, uh, the, from the letter we got to me, the first uh, signed by the woman, uh, the leader of unknown government. So, uh, they are part of unknown government, but the activities is not unconnected to the agitation for the answer. Because from the letter they sent, they are saying that on Monday, they should be put at home. And any day they are taking uh, the leader of the uh, uh, indigenous people of Java, which is in the Palito Court, there must be a seat at home and the, that the people should comply. Okay. Uh, James, uh, is there any statement put out by the government or is there any assurance from the men of the Nigerian police in Oberi as we speak as regard the safety of citizens? Okay, apart from the government condemning the attack in uh, the uh, country home of uh, the Indian uh, people, which is said that uh, the people was uh, politically motivated. Apart from that one, there has not been any statement from the government. And with regard to the list of going around the there has not been any statement from the government. And the police commissioner and the police public commission, there has not been any statement from them. They try to call the uh, the public situation of the Panek at the time is not clear. Uh, the TPU also is not clear. But uh, I saw uh, the, uh, a very long convoy of uh, police officers trying to uh, move around the city. Uh, I saw them not quite long. James, how are you keeping safe just before we let you go? Well, there is tension everywhere. Uh, everybody is trying to uh, speak by going out, not knowing what will happen to the people not in this. Because these people, from what we saw today, facing letters in what they call the schools in the rural capital city, it shows that these people are living because they are not in the group. They are no longer after the relationship that these people are actually living with us. So, 
it makes us uh, feel very un uh, unsecured. And we want the government to do something very urgent about James. Uh, it. James, James, thank you so much. We have to let you go, and that's because we're out of time. Thank you so much, and keep staying safe, okay? Also joining us is A.K. Ifai Chimazie, a social commentator. Uh, Ifai Chimazie, if you can hear me, it's good to have you join us this afternoon on the news. Thank you very much. So, so let's get straight to it. We all Brought woke up to, to yes, please. We woke up to the notice that uh, there's been making the rounds about unknown gunmen whose activities are related to that of IPOP, threatening residents, uh, saying uh, that if they do not obey the sit at home order, uh, you know, they might just have to suffer for it and enforcing the Biafran law rules. What do you make of this situation? Oh, thank you very much. Um, as, a, as a social commentator and as an uh, activist and the president of South Institute for Equity Alliance, uh, I would say what is happening in the security situation in South East, uh, according to the statement uh, issued by uh, the unknown government, we should try to, first of all, we should try to understand unknown government who are they speaking for. Uh, we should know that the IPOB per se um, has equally given, a, have equally made a statement that they have cancelled the uh, sit at home on, in every Monday, on every Monday. So why are these unknown government carrying this? So we should, I think uh, this now is time for our security apparatus, the Nigerian police and every uh, apparatus of the nation to look into the situation, have a, 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 a have a serious uh, investigation because I think uh, investigation needs to be employed at this point in time to understand and be able to find out those behind this unknown government. Because if you are talking about IPOB issuing a, a statement that there is no longer sit at home and another set of people are in the name of unknown government uh, carrying those statements out, so we should be able to find out. Let there be a investigation, a thorough investigation to find out who these people are. <laughs> Meanwhile, as a person, as the president of South East like we condemn in its entirety the uh, unleashing of terror at the residence of the Ohanese Ndibo president, Professor Opiozo. So we condemn it as Ndibo, as Ndibo that we are known. We are not known for violence. We are people who are known for um, um, negotiation dialogue. So at this point in time, whatever be the case, I, uh, on, uh, that, are, that are covering themselves you know, in the name of unknown government should come out and open and tell us what they want. All so right. hiding under the, the umbrella of the IPOB to be unleashing terror if in, I, the, in, the, uh, in the... If it's anything to go by, do you think that uh, it helps in any way to push the IPOP agenda or the Biafran agenda, however you put it? <laughs> there's no way, there's no way terror, there's no way insecurity, there's no way um, um, unleashing terror on the people will be able to help the uh, agitation of uh, uh, IPOB. As, as a person and as somebody who is from South East and as a leader, a youth activist from South East, I would think that the first of all, we should like, we we'll need to try to address the situation in, in South East, especially the IPOB issue. This is uh, it's high time that the uh, federation, the, uh, the country, start looking into address this. What, why are these people angry? Why are they agitating? So from this, we'll be able to try to uh, 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 to not know how to what, solve this situation because there's no way the insecurity will be able to help the zone except for the country at large. So what well, we need to do as a mm. as a country to engage the IPB to know how to solve it because one thing we should know that these people of Southeast we are talking about. Uh, there are people who have been managed, the number one people marginalized in Nigeria. People, the people feel, when, when people are anger, I, it can lead them to, like, person like us, we are engaging the nation uh, on right, dialogue. Well, thank you so Make much, sure Ifai you... Chimeze. We do appreciate your time with us this afternoon on the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.